hi, I'm a lesbian, or at least I think I'm a lesbian. Yes, but I'm the biggest. Let's be wrong. This is just to prove why be why be I'm gonna come on here and have a good time. Oh yeah. Oh, they saw my tum tum! The moon landing didn't happen. Oh sorry, I farted. What? When it rains, it pours. Like, I want to believe in, like, tarot readings and whatever. Like, I was on TikTok scrolling through, like, a week ago. And it said, if you find this, it's meant for you. You're going to be coming in with lots of good luck. Good things are going to happen to you. What type of, like, obviously not tarot reading. Like, hey, ghouls, how you doing? We have a lot of catching up to do, so let's begin. So I'm now home, and I've been crying since the last clip. I got in the car, started crying, and then I got home, started crying. I have other personal things going on in my life right now besides this and I know like people have been saying I seem so unhappy and stuff it's just I'm just there's a lot of things that I'm not sharing and I don't know if I want to and I know speculation speculation I can't even talk speculation I have to say that I would hate to live like Amberlynn it seems like she is always miserable and she is always crying about something going on during my whole ankle debacle um all of a sudden literally out of nowhere I was having tremendous shoulder pain to the point of I couldn't move my arm. It was very scary. Um, it radiated to my neck and I was feeling it in my back, especially when I would breathe in. This was a couple weeks ago. Yes, the ankle that changed her life. Her new falling would be such an important event in one's life. It's scary to think about all those health issues she has when she is only 30, but we all know why she has them, don't we, Gauls? So I was struggling with that for a little bit and I thought it was because of how I was getting onto the bed because of my ankle, because you don't even realize how much you use certain parts of your body to do certain things until you no longer can use said part of your body or it hurts really bad to use said part of the body. I'm sure she was already struggling with the bed and I can't imagine how she was when the ankle thing happened. Ago, I started having the pain again and then like when I breathe in my like where your lung is bro like in your back it is this sharp pain. Obviously those things are not normal especially now I have like a little tiny bit of a cough um, and I have shortness of breath. So those things are scary for anybody. So I went to the ER. Her body is screaming out for help and a gore is too busy building Legos to listen to it. And of course it is not an Amberlin video without her complaining about doctors and her experience. And because she wanted to look at all my results. She wanted to look at my blood, my x-rays, my EKG. So just keep in mind that when I went to the ER, they said, oh, that's normal. And in my heart, I just, I felt like they were wrong. This has happened before. Nine times out of 10, just as a morbidly obese person, we don't get the same healthcare. Even doctor now um, from Six Pound Life, he's like so honest about it. He's like, I'm not saying that these people I've seen are discriminating against me. Doctors are perfect, they're not robots. I love them, I appreciate them. Lol, that's exactly what you were saying, all. And we all remember your doctor rants and how some doctors are lazy and greedy, lol. Doctor just called me. Something actually was found in my x-ray and for some reason at the hospital, they didn't tell me. Part of my lung, God, I just feel like it's never ending. I don't know. Part of my lung is collapsed. Yes, it's never ending because you refuse to change and you are out here in your 30s making the same mistakes you made 10 years ago. Like a collapsed lung is kind of a scary thing. You just said the bottom of it is collapsed. That's terrifying and I just don't know what to do with that information. You are not going to do anything with that information just like the cancer and the sad thing is we are all seeing this health decline right in front of us. Then, Amberlynn goes on a rant about how people hate her and they spread rumors about her. So someone sent me a uh, message, it's a screenshot of someone's thumbnail that I was lying about my ER visit. This reminds me very much of my cancer experience where everyone thought I was lying. Not everyone, a big portion of people. I'm honestly surprised she is still doing this after being on YouTube for eight years. First of all, I didn't see any comments saying you lied. Everyone believes you when you have a medical issue because we all know it will get worse. Secondly, you can't find one comment and start crying and going off on people. That's not good for your mental health goal. You need to learn to ignore the small things that don't matter in your life. Again, some people didn't believe the cancer story, but majority of people believed you and even reaction channels stopped making videos on you goal. Nothing. I have never, ever lied about anything medical. Ever. But the portion of you who hate me so much that it just like lives in your fucking veins to make me feel like shit, to call me a liar, to spread rumors. You guys are poisoning my life and honestly just dampening my spirit. And those people exist and we all see them. There are people who call her nasty names and believe that she lies about everything. Then there are reasonable people who speculate about you because they have been watching you for years. And majority of people are from the second group. 
You can't fixate on a small group when you know they want you to respond and suffer. I want the passion to come back. I want the love to come back. What passion? What love? Those days are gone gore. All we get these days are vlogs of you sitting at home or giving us bad news. And I just feel reaction channels. You're supposed to react to what I'm saying, not speculate what I'm saying. Speculation is part of this community because people have lost faith in you and don't believe you. But I do agree to some degree. I don't think it's good or necessary to speculate about every single thing in her life, but each person is different and thinks differently. I personally don't speculate that much, and I don't think she lies about serious stuff like this. Then, she uploaded a video saying she has gained weight she was in the 490s while she was bed-bound. And all this time she was on a Zempic, so our goal was eating lol. Now she is 481 pounds. No one is shocked. We all knew the weight loss was temporary. But a big reason why is because I have my CT scan today. I literally just uploaded a video and people be complaining about me doing Legos. You guys, come on. Logal no one was complaining. People were too busy discussing your 30 pounds weight gain in a few weeks. So a new update on my pain. Um, there's this weird sharp pain in the bottom, like where my spine is. So I don't know what that is, but the pain... It's traveling a little bit, which is scary. Gore, what do you mean you don't know what that is? That's your collapsed lunch screaming, though. I just want to feel better. Ugh, I have so many doctor's appointments coming up because I'm like an advocate for myself and actually taking care of myself and I'm proud of that. You are taking care of yourself. You gained 30 pounds in a few weeks while being on a Zempic, which will make every health issue worse, Gore. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I just slept for 12 hours. While I was there, they noticed I was short of breath by walking just like a short distance and while they did the ct scan they did it they did like automatically notice something wrong with my lungs so they actually called the radiologist um immediately and that i have fluid on my lungs or around my lungs and they said that with the fact that i'm showing symptoms i should probably go to the er so i was admitted to the er immediately and a lot of cancer talk um saying how since i've had cancer before to have fluid around or in my lungs could be an indicator that it's cancer that sounds very scary gall, another cancer scare. I think I speak for majority of the viewers when I say that I genuinely don't want to see Amberlynn going through all these terrible things. It's heartbreaking seeing someone's life collapse right in front of you, and the sadder thing is that it is not a wake-up call for her. It doesn't matter if all of this is not caused by her weight, she should choose a healthy life to better her health regardless. But we all know she will cry and cry and tell us how scared she is while gaining more weight and continuing her cycle. Um... So they wanted me to do another CT scan of my stomach and my abdomen and another one of my lung. And this one they saw, they said that my abdomen looked fine, you know, areas in my stomach look fine, but they found a uh, nodule in my lung, the same lung. She is talking about the situation type deal, and all of a sudden she starts naming YP and repeats it low. She called her feline and pretends like she didn't do it low. I don't know, he was just very kind and knowledgeable and answered my questions and Feline's questions because we both had questions for sure. I don't know if you guys just heard Feline, but she said, all four. Like, it didn't come out. <laughs> you good over there? Why do you guys think she did this? Maybe they are no longer together. That's why she doesn't call her wifey or my girlfriend. I um, am an agnostic gal, but I want prayers. I need prayers. I'm begging for prayers. I know that might not make sense to a lot of people, but I feel like when your life is on the line and you feel like you're dying, you start to call out to God, even if you don't know if he's real. She is begging for prayers from us then right after this, she goes off on the same people she asked prayers from for complaining about her clickbaiting her health for views. I hope the reactions are happy, they might get some good clicks and some good money off of uh, their reaction to this video, but um... What the fuck is going on? Why are you thinking about reaction channels at that moment? You are making money off of clickbaiting your health and talking about it, so why are we so horrible for doing the same? This is my fucking life, and my job is to vlog it. This is literally my life. My job is to monetize my life, so... Your job is to monetize your life, yes. But you know these types of videos will make more money, that's why you are doing it. You are complaining about how people are speculating and hurting you, so why are you sharing more? We all know why and you don't have to pretend. That's on that. So you can say what it is, people calling my videos clickbait. Go to David Dobrik, okay? Go to fucking Ethan Klein's channel. Clickbaiting is so 2018, I don't know why you are doing it now lol. Also, we have been through this before, don't compare yourself to those people, I don't watch either so I don't care. The difference is that you only click bit your health. Your other videos have normal titles, but when it is about your health, you write shocking titles to gain more views. And that's all fine, we know how the game is, but you can't do that and sit on your high horse and lecture us on morals lol. Really? Why does it matter? It's a title of a video, get over it. Well, we can say the same thing about you crying because of mean comments. 
Get over it. It is just people on the internet gore. What we do here is go back, 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 back.